Protection against ash fall. Ash should be removed from building roofs to avoid collapse which could result in injury to the building occupants. About 100 mm of dry ash could collapse a flat roof. Before ash is to be removed, ensure that storm water systems are sealed to stop ash entering. If possible, sweep ash off in a dry state, the addition of water will turn the ash into mud which can set like concrete. Remove the swept ash to a suitable dumping site. Caution is needed working on roofs. In heavy ash falls, windows and doors may need additional sealing to avoid ash entering the building. Extra care must be taken by people entering buildings to ensure that outer clothing and footwear is removed early to avoid spreading ash throughout the building. All ash removal measures are labor-intensive and require constant attention. All types of engines, cars, trucks, aircraft, will require additional filtering with regular changes in order to maintain efficiency. Advice should be sought from manufacturers as to suitable air filter requirements. Careful monitoring of lubricant needs to be conducted. Lubricants may need to be changed at up to four times the normal frequency. Other working parts on vehicles and machinery such as brakes, conveyors and electrical motors need to be dusted or air blasted on a frequent and regular basis to avoid excessive abrasion. Farm and industrial machines such as tractors and diggers have a greater tolerance to ash, however, additional protective measures will be required for these to continue operating in ashfall conditions. Crops and plants are damaged by volcanic ash which may contain volatile, highly toxic components such as fluorine, hydrogen sulfide and sulfur dioxide. Advice should be sought before consuming food that may have been affected by volcanic deposits. Volcanic gases can have severe effects on plants from wilting outer leaves to killing. Trees laden with ash could collapse or be stripped of their upper and outer limbs. Tank supplies should be disconnected from house roofs whilst ash fall continues and the tank protected. They can be reconnected once ash fall stops and the roof is cleaned. Breathing in small amounts of ash particles infrequently may only cause discomfort rather than pose a health hazard. At higher concentrations, people should avoid ash and fine dust simply by using cloth filters over the mouth and nose. People required to work in ash fall should wear protective clothing, masks and goggles to ensure that ash contact with the body is at a minimum. Prolonged exposure can cause severe irritations and inflammation. Gas marks would be required if toxic gases are detected. Livestock may require additional feed where the ash fall makes grazing difficult. Water supplied must be checked to ensure it is not harmful. Sheltering of livestock in buildings may be required in heavier ash fall areas. Early evacuation of livestock may also need to be undertaken. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and share with your friends for more exciting video subscribe to the channel.